first ever boot camp in NBA 2K23. Let's get it, man. Yo, this build is wild. Why are 75 so bad? How are we even going to win this event? You have to be top five to win the event. Yo, unlimited playing and boost, uh, boot camp, jersey, 25 KBs, tier one prizes. Yo, yo, we have to get top five in the world to secure this event. Need a three. We need a three. Come on. I got it. I got it. I got it. I'm fading. I'm fading. I'm fading to the screen. I'm telling you, this dude can't guard me. Just throw it. Just throw it. Come on. Get it. All I gotta do is just stop and run. All I gotta do is just stop and run. Come on. Hey, that's green. That's green. That's blinders, baby. Yo, we need a three up in this possession or we lose. Give me the ball. Just let me work. Let me work. Three. You said we need a three. You said we need a three. I got you with the three. I got you in the corner. Great. I'm not missing this event. I'm not missing this event. Pull up. Hey, green. I'm telling you, I'm not missing. Yo, I'm third place. I'm third place. I'm third. Yo, I dropped the four. I actually dropped the four. Yo, we gotta lock in. Yo, I'm sixth place. I'm sixth. No, this is actually bad. This is actually bad. The event has ended. I don't know if we won. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Henry, AKA Double H, back at it with yet another banger. And no, this video is not clickbait. We won the first ever boot camp on NBA 2K23. And I'm gonna be showing you every game throughout the whole four hour event of exactly how we won this event. So make sure to drop a like if you enjoy event videos. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. We have plenty of other banger content on the channel. So make sure to hit that sub button. But anyways, this was the first ever boot camp for NBA 2K23. And there was actually new rewards um, that you're gonna see at the end of the video that they added. And you have to place top five in the world in this event to get those exclusive rewards. Now, I was on a six foot 175 overall. I'm gonna show on the screen exactly the build stats. Now, this year for whatever reason 75 overalls are way worse than years past like here's my 75 overall right here this year and this is a picture of my 75 overall in 2k22 like that, that 2k22 75 overall is way better i don't know vc inflation is absolutely crazy they're really cheating out on, on some uh builds right here with the overalls and whatever but yeah and then also the guy that was catching lobs on my team was basically just a dunker that had a 71 three-pointer and we also ran with a seven foot three center and also on the screen right here is the jump shot i was using in the video so if you want the jump shot there it is i'm also going to be showing my badges on the screen that i was using in this video because yeah we were going crazy on the 75 overall six foot one in this video because as you guys know in boot camp you have to be a 75 overall or lower to compete in the event and yeah the top five people with the most xp at the end of the event after four hours win the prizes right now this definitely came down to the wire that is for sure we were competing with people that were boosting in brazil and asia and europe servers playing against 60 overalls over and over and over while we were trying to compete with some other teams that were playing legit as well it was just a lot going on all at once um I, later in the video i actually say that the the boosters never get banned but apparently after recording this video a couple of the boosters at the very end that didn't score any points at the end that i that i mentioned a little bit actually ended up getting banned with like 15 or 20 minutes left so yeah that's kind of crazy but anyways let's go ahead and get straight into this gameplay man let's get it all right, here we are, y'all, in the first boot camp event ever. Now, this was the first boot camp server on Saturday, December 10th, around 1 o'clock uh, Eastern time. And yeah, the event started. We immediately walked straight in. It was the first boot camp of 2K23. Immediately, we looked at the rewards. And this time, there's tier one prize, uh, prizes, 25 KVC, unlimited playmaking boost uh, for old top five players. So now that I now I know this, you see there's four hours in the event. This event's four hours long i know i have to become top five in this event to get the win for this event right now if you skipped earlier in the video i'm on my 6-1 point guard 75 overall and not a lot of things are upgraded go rewind that video go look at the stats not a lot of things are upgraded but early on in the event i'm cherry picking down the court i'm gonna get a three to end the first game and i want to show you guys exactly our method of each game but as you can see right here the scoring breakdown was not working right so we decided to get a friend of ours that wasn't playing the event and have him sit in the event center now what this plan was going to do for us was instead of all this loading time we had to sit through we were just gonna after every game we were just gonna accept the invite and join our friend and then just walk into the event again now as you can see after the first game i'm 14th place it's all good though that's just the first game it was a long game too eight minute game not a very good game but you're gonna see exactly what i'm talking about with that invite with the friend sitting in the event center in a second it's gonna save us you know about 30 minutes 30 seconds to a minute and a half every other game but look at this right here 60 overall y'all see that he's never hit a three before zero three-point percentage remember that now this was our second game of the event that guy has a zero three-point percentage 
He has never hit a three in his life. 60 overall. First shot. Green. I mean, we were just leaving him open all game. Look at another shot right here. His second shot. He's two for two. Green again. Like, how is this dude hitting? I don't know. I don't know. Third shot. Green. He's literally four for four. Hasn't missed. This is the first time he's ever hit a three in his life on 2K23. You see me clutch it up right here. We're up one. No threes, right? I'm like, no threes. We're like, okay, we're finally going to play defense. We're actually going to guard this guy. Cash out, reaches out the play, leaves this guy wide open, and we lose the game. It is what it is, but this is the invite thing I was talking about. So we start the event slow, one of one. I I'm going to join my friend who's in the event center immediately. Instead of waiting through those loading screens, I'm just going to spawn in the event center. We're going to squat up again, walk into the tunnel, and we're going to get a game immediately, right? Now I'm 23rd place. That's pretty far back. We need to get top five. But yeah, that's good. Now, every time we do that, it's going to save us like 30 seconds, maybe a minute. And that's going to add up in this event. And we're going to be playing against a lot of boosters in the event. Anyways, this is a full game I'm going to show right here of our method, right? So we try to play two on three defense where we have our 7-3 center sitting in the paint. And we have me as a 6-1 guard kind of just running around the three-point line hoping to get a stop. Because you got to remember, our opponents are 75 overalls too. So they either can't shoot, dribble, or dunk. They can't do a lot of the things, right? Look at here. We're playing two, two on three defense. They're, they're just mashing in the paint. Now, yeah, they get a fluky layup. But usually, we get stops. And our guy that catches lobs, which is cash out, is just sitting down there. And I just throw him a lob behind half court. Because I can throw lobs from behind half court. You're going to see here. So once again, we're trying to get a stop. Another fluky layup. We usually get more stops than this. Seven to seven. Now, on half, half court offense, I'll either look for a three, like right there. Or I'll throw a backdoor, we'll get a backdoor lob from cash out and throw that lob. Now, sometimes we will also get steals in behind the half court on defense. That's the only time we go for steals. Uh, otherwise, we just kind of leave it wide open, right? So it's 12 to 9 right here. We're on half court offense again. And sometimes they don't get back in time. So we just throw the lob. I'm throwing it from half court. I got gold specially del special delivery on this build. I am a 75 overall, but I do have some badges. Once again, we're just leaving people open. He misses right there, 14 to 9. I immediately get the ball, cash out back doors, and he gets a lob. That's what we try to do. Just 2v3 defense with Vivin sitting in the paint right in to get the board. Immediately passes to me, and then we either get a three or we get a dunk. Now, as you can see right here, we're up 16 to 9. Look at look at these guys' offense. It's like all these teams' offense is just so paint match oriented because they can't shoot or dribble. They can't do a lot of things. So we get another easy lob, 18 to 9. At this point, at the end of the games, I usually cherry pick for threes because we don't need any lobs because the goal for each game is six lobs and then just finish it off with threes. And that'll give us the most XP possible to literally get the most amount of XP in this event so we can get top five, right? And then, of course, we join my the dude that's sitting in the event center. We hop right back into the event, and boom, that's going to be our method for all four hours. Now, you see, I'm eighth place, 48K XP. We're trying to lock in, right? 19-11, uh, I'm, leave, I'm leaving this guy wide open. We're trying to climb the boards, get into that top five slot. You see, he rips him. It's okay. We get the lob off, 21-11. Like I said, the whole point of my build in this event, a 6-1, 75 overall, is to shoot threes and throw lobs. We're still eighth place. There's guys in front of us. Look at VA 450 for now. Look how ahead of they are of everybody. Kind of kind of fishy, right? There was a lot of boosters in this event, and I'm going to explain exactly what some of these boosters were doing. Some of them were making it a little obvious that they were boosting, and some of them were trying to hide it, right? So 20 to 10, we get a fast break lob right here, finish off that game, and we immediately join the guy that's sitting in the event center, and look, at we're still 8th place, 83,000. Now, what some of these boosters have been doing in this event, because... The 2K has been on to them. They've been banning them. What they'll do is they'll boost a little bit, then stop. So it doesn't look obvious on the uh, leaderboards. And then they'll boost again, and then they'll stop, and then boost again, and then they'll stop. You know what I'm saying? So they keep redoing that process. So it's not obvious on the leaderboards that they're boosting. By the way, we're seventh place, 40 minutes into the event. And sometimes it works. You can see on this leaderboard, there's a lot of guys in this top eight that are boosting you know what i'm saying but it's not obvious the top two guys now the shifty guy in the v8 it's pretty obvious i mean they're way ahead of everybody it's not even close but uh yeah so not only are we fighting against people that are legitimately trying to win like ourselves but we're also fighting against these boosters and that's why we were joining off that name because that's going to speed up the process really i'm in fourth place now 120k that's good enough to win the event if we can get top five by the end of the event we're gonna win right and i'm showing all these games y'all gonna see everything you're gonna see a couple close games too look at me shooting look at me fading on my 75 overall i mean the stats of this build are pretty bad too third place the only people ahead of me are boosters right now i'm in third i mean i'm going crazy i'm not i'm never gonna pass the boosters obviously but third place we locked in right 
I I'm, I'm cherry picking. Like I said, once we get our six lobs, I just shoot threes. That's really our method. Look at still third place, 152,000 points. We are an hour in and I am third place. Three hours left in the event and we're good to go. You see these dudes, we're playing, like I said, our method is usually two on three defense. Sometimes Cash will sit down here when I need a three, which is fine. Cause guess what? We got to finish it off with a little fast break regardless. And we join it off. And this is the method. We keep doing it now. He couldn't get into the event center, so I chucked my place with three hours. We're about a little less than three hours left, and we are fourth place, right? Now, around this time, there was a couple boosters that were in front of people like V8 and Shifty. And Ronnie was making tweets um, at people that were complaining about these boosters, saying, oh, we see it. Don't worry, basically. Oh, we're going to fix it. And guess what? He never did anything. He never did anything. I'm going I'm to I'm 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 you know, tell you right now. These boosters never got banned. V8 and Shifty were boosting the whole time. You're going to see them in first and second the whole time. And there's a couple other guys that were boosting stop, and then stopped boosting, boosting and stopped boosting to try to not get banned, right? And you're going to see those guys come up on the leaderboards randomly throughout this event because, once again, they're boosting and then stop and then boosting and then stop. You know what I'm saying? They're just repeating that process. Anyways, we're fifth place right now. Ooh, we gotta just lock it. I mean, this is the first boot camp. This is a competitive boot camp. You know what I'm saying? The first one is the hardest one to win. Anyways, 10 to 18. We're throwing it down. I got takeover. He didn't get a contest on that. It's okay, though. You know, Cash is gonna hit me back out. I'm gonna green that shot. Bang. Come on now. Let's get it. If you guys are watching at this point in the video, make sure to drop a like, by the way. Anyways, we're in fifth place. Look at that Hey the Guy guy and that HOF guy. Stable T. These are some other boosters that are boosting and then stopping. And you'll see them pass me like by a lot at some points in this video then all of a sudden their points just completely freeze for like 30 minutes and they don't do anything and that's what i mean by that they try to like make it not obvious by the leaderboards but in the in you know hindsight they're in brazil servers playing their 60 overall bots anyways we are grinding right now 18 to 13 we could get a three to finish off the game or we get a couple lobs i decide to go for the three this guy has lock take i missed though this lockdown was literally on me the whole game he had literally only upgraded defense okay i have no energy fading away no stamina i don't even know how i green that that was actually a tough shot right there anyways we joined back into the event center i am seventh place now look at all the look at rated passes me stable t passes me hof passes me all these guys are passing me all of a sudden and i haven't let up at all like i'm we're still getting six lobs a game we're finishing games really fast but anyways we go into this next game right here we're playing our two on three defense he misses wide open we get a lob right so we're up two to zero we're like okay just another game right two on three right here we're just leaving people open playing our regular defense where cash out sits down now unfortunately vibin doesn't get the rebound so we give up a three right here we definitely should have got that rebound and would have got a fast Break, but it's okay we give a three right here i think i'm open i'm not i get it they get a contest i miss wide open they throw it down to this guy and he actually just steps out of pass i uh, got a bad catch animation it's all good though we are down one i hit cash out in the corner he's gonna go ahead and shoot that three he only has a 71 three pointer on that build but he gets it to go and we're up five to three so once again we're continuing our two on three defense we're just leaving dudes open hoping they miss and he makes that shot you know some games these dudes do be hitting that we hope miss right we're kind of just baiting people kind of just hoping people miss because they're on 75 rolls and it works a lot of the times but sometimes it doesn't work and right here he throws it to the corner throws it to the other corner and they get another three that's two threes in a row now now we're down two points nine to seven and we still are trying to get our lobs we're still trying to get that so we get the cash out another lob right there getting our xp still it's a tie game nine to nine now little did we know number one couldn't shoot so right here we're leaving him wide open he's not shooting i'm like okay eventually he's gonna shoot so i try to run up to him to bait him no he throws it right back to the corner this guy shoots a three and he gets it to go so it's like bro what is going on like they're just not missing right now so it's 12 to 9 i go in the corner fade away three bang come on now tie game and now we're like okay number one is the only guy that hasn't shot so let's just leave him wide open right and look at this guy's crawling up to the mid-range and shooting a midi now we want our center to step up on that if he's gonna take that but it's like whatever Two seconds left, cash out, misses the layup. They throw it down. This guy's a wide open three, hits the three, 17 to 12. We're down five. We are down five. This is looking really bad right now. We're going to pick and roll three seconds. I hit cash out in the corner and thank God he hits that three pointer right there. And now we are 
down two points. Once again, we're leaving number one wide open. And he greens again. So we're like, Vibe, you got to step up on that. You got to be there. Like, we need to stop. 19 to 15. 19 to 15. We're down four. If they get a bucket, we lose, right? I'm walking back, giving it back to Cash Out. Cash Out throws it back to me. I'm wide open. Stop it. Pop shot. Green. We need a stop. If they score, we lose. 19-18. Must stop. We're like, we're leaving number one wide open. Guard his mid-range, and we're good to go. So that's exactly what to do. He gets baited. This guy's wide open for the win. Misses. He missed. Cash out with the rebound. Hits me. I'm like, yo, take it slow. We At the time, I was like, all we need is a two. But in hindsight, we actually low-key need a three if we don't want to give up a three. So I'm taking it slow. Run over to the left. I don't have anything. I go ahead, hit cash out. He hits me back wide up and catches shoot. Game time, baby. Stop playing with me. You know what I do. Come on now. Now we go back to the leaderboards. I'm still not top five. I'm seventh place, but that was a big win. We didn't end up losing that game. We ended up winning that game. So that was huge. 20 to eight. I'm literally just flopping just to try to make these guys shoot because sometimes you'll leave these guys wide open and they just don't shoot. It's like hurry up and shoot the ball. That's the whole point of our two on three defense is to make the other team's possessions go faster. Anyways, I'm still seventh place. Those guys are still way ahead of me, right? So we got to, you know, we got to control what I, we can control, right? That's what I kept telling my teammates. It doesn't matter what happens. Just keep locking in. Control what you can control, and let's see what happens at the end of the event, right? So we go into this game, we get an easy lob. We're actually playing a clan here. We leave this guy wide open, he misses. So it looks like we're off to a good start, but this guy somehow, that small guard somehow gets the board. This guy's open for wide open three. He gets it to go. Now they're up one, three to two. And once again, these guys, you know, they knew what they were doing. They had a 6-1 guard. They had a similar lineup to us. They had a clan out there. And look at, they're just double teaming me off the rip. I mean, they were completely doubling me, leaving cash out wide open. So I, of course, I'm gonna hit them. Four to three. We're leaving corners open. We're kind of just hoping they shoot. He misses an open shot right there. Not wide open, but open. And we get a fast break lob. And that's gonna give us the six to three lead right there. And that's what we were doing this whole time. Look at Vibing gets the easy lane steal. Another fast break, another easy lob. And right now it's looking like an easy game. It's looking like another easy game. Eight to three? Like, it's looking like another free lob game. I leave this dude wide open in the corner and he hits it. Now it's eight to six. Okay. So, you know, I'm not really thinking of anything of it. We get another backdoor lob. Boom. 10 to six. We already have five lobs, 10 points. That is amazing to start a game. We double team the guard, leave this guy wide open again. He lates it. We don't get the rebound though. The second chance rebounds are costing us because look at it. The guard's wide open. Bang. Now it's a one point game. That's definitely going to cost us, right? Look at this guy just comes up to me, taps X, gets a steal. I mean, that's game changing. Throws it back to the guard. He throws it to this guy. We need to get a stop. And Vibe gets a tip, jives on the ball, doesn't give it to him. I mean, what is going on right now? They give it back to the guard. He's open for a three. Green, and now they have a two-point lead. Like, what is going on? We were just, we just had complete control of the game. Now they got all momentum. It's looking like we're going to lose this game. I run over to the right, open three. Bang! Doesn't matter if I have low energy. We green that on the 75 overall. This dude's doing step backs, wide open dude in the corner, and he hits again. I mean, they don't, they're not missing. We're living and dying by leaving them open for three. But they're hitting right now. So we got to respect it. 15 to 13. I'm running off the screen. Green. Come on now. Stop playing with me. We get that one point lead. And I'm telling my teammates, yo, we got to play defense. We need to stop. We get the tip. We get the steal. We're running down the fast break. This guy comes up to me. So I'm like, okay, easy lob. Let's get it. 18 of 15. We are up three points. We need to stop. No score would be nice. Definitely no threes. This dude's trying to do spin backs. He's trying to get a three. I'm like, oh no. We on that. I go, come over here. We're on that. He passes there. Could Maybe could have had that shot. But they're going to go ahead. Play it safe. Take their two. 18 to 17. I got take over. I'm like, look, yo, look, cash out. I don't need to go for a lob. If I have an open three, I'm just ending this game. Like we've had a lot of close games recently. I'm not trying to risk it. So I'm run over here. I stop. I run again. Go to the corner. And that's a green. Get off my court. Game time, baby. And we going back to the event center. Now, I'm still seventh place. I mean, we're playing fantastic. And I am still seventh place. Like, what is going on? What is going on? Anyways, we get another easy fast break right here. End that game. You already know we're joining the lobby immediately. This is what we were doing the whole time. Look at, I'm sixth place. Like some of these guys are still ahead of me. And you're going to see here, they some of those guys that boost and stop boosting and boost and stop boosting, they're going to stop right here. And then they're going to start later in the video. So we're going to climb up a couple rankings here because they stopped to try to not make it obvious, right? But look at, I fall back now. I'm seventh place. I'm seventh place. Like there's no way. We, we lost one game. 
We haven't been making ever any mistakes. Even in the game we lost, we got six lobs. Like we're getting max XP every game and ending games super, super fast. 1911, Cashel gets the easy dunk, another fast break dunk for us. And look at now I jump up the fourth because all those dudes stopped playing. You see what I'm saying? You see in their method. I mean, you can believe me or not, but I mean, we were just one of the, the, the many legit teams that was just trying to fight against the cheaters and try to fight against other competitors to try to place in the top five. Simple as that. Fourth place right now, 388,000. We are halfway through the event. An hour and 46 minutes left. It's time to lock in, okay? 19 to five, I get this tip pass back, throw it up to cash out, another easy lob. Oh my God, I mean, we're still fourth place, 400,000 XP. We're on pace to get probably a little less than 700,000 XP after the four hours, which I feel like is pretty solid. Right here, this dude's full court pressing me, gets a little bump, then just stops playing for whatever reason. I get a wild and three, misses it because that was just a bad catch animation. Get it back though, and that's an easy green here to know, so we end in that game. We got to just keep rolling. We're on pace. We're controlling what we can control. You know, if those boosters, you know, pass us, there's nothing we can really do about that. We just got to keep fighting, keep playing, keep winning our games and keep being clutch and clutch moments, right? We're getting our lobs. We're getting our threes. We're getting all the XP we can, right? Fourth place right here, 442,000. You see, I'm only 9,000 away from third, but look at how far ahead of first and second are. I mean, they're like... 100,000 plus ahead of us. I mean, they're, they're, they don't care. They don't care like the other boosters. They're just boosting. I mean, they don't care at all, bro. They are just flying through. They don't care what the leaderboards say. They do not care if they get banned, I guess. Anyways, we're third place now. We passed fourth. You see fourth did not even play the game. They were still at 451,000. So they, they were doing a little suspicious stuff too. They just stopped, right? So I'm at third right now, which is kind of crazy uh, to be honest. Anyways, cash out gets a fast break. Gives it back to me. Wide open three. Bang. That's a green. 21 to nine. Look at, I'm third place still. 478,000. Like, I'm locked in, y'all. I don't know about y'all, but I'm locked in right now. 18 to 14. Look at Cash out with this steal. Yo, those steals are so clutch. They save so much time. So that those steals definitely save us a lot of time. Look, at, I'm still third place. We're at hour and seven minutes left. We got this right. Third place. It's looking good, right? It's looking good. But guess what? Those boosters that stop boosting, boosting, and then stop, and then start boosting, and then stop, and then start boosting. Guess what? They're about to start boosting again. Look at us shooting hash, half court, catch and shoot shots with the 75. Anyways, look at third place. A little less than an hour left. Okay, remember that. Look at third. I'm, I'm, I'm ahead. Third place. We're chilling, right? It's not. We haven't been losing. We only lost one game in the beginning. We kept the consistency up. Look at this team's trash. I got the guard on cold. We're getting we got all six lobs. Fast game. Regular game, right? We win. Go back in. I check the leaderboards down fourth. I dropped. I dropped a spot. How did I drop a spot? Uh, we're at the same pace, right? How did I drop? Once again, we're blowing the, we're, we, it's not a blowout, but we're beating this team too. I even get an extra lob at the end of the game for extra XP. We get all our lobs in, get all our threes in. You know, fast game again. I'm at fourth. What's, what's going on? How am I dropping? How did I drop from third to fourth? I'm like, okay, whatever. I want to just keep playing with whatever. You see, I'm cold right here. Kind of had a bad game, but the game was still fast. I still got all six lobs in, and I still went crazy, right? We joined again, and now I'm sixth. How am I dropping? The games are still going by fast. You want to know how? It's because those boosters started boosting again. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what was going on there. But it's like, oh my God, we're sixth place. Less than an hour left. What is going on? There's no way we lose this, right? Look at, I'm still sixth. 34 minutes left and I am sixth place. I'm like, yo, there's no way we don't win this event. Like we have been playing near perfect. No way, right? So we go into our next game and I'm like, yo, boys, we got to lock in. We cannot blow this. There's no way we can blow this, right? So I'm on timing. I'm getting all six lobs in every game, but I'm also hitting my shots when I need to hit my shots as well. You see, this dude is cold. He's just he's just giving up because we're just clamping him. Like it's 14 to zero. This team is just getting absolutely crucified. 14 to two. We're running up wide open three. Bang, 17 to two. I mean, we're locked in. These dudes got nothing on us. 19 to 2. I'm throwing a lot of the cash. 21 to 2. We're ending games fast. We're getting all our XP. Look at I'm still six. I'm still six. Now I'm fifth. And then I dropped down to six again. Like, what is, what is going on? It's just like, I can't stay in that top five. I was barely fifth there for a couple seconds. But now I'm sixth again. 
So we go into the next game. I'm hitting threes, nine to six. I'm locked in. I don't want to lose this event. Like, there's no way we lose, right? I'm literally going crazy the whole event. 16 to six. I'm going to the corner. Fade away three. Green. Stop playing with me, man. I'm the best 75 overall out here. Going crazy on my 6 1. We get a contact lob right there. Immediately join again. And look, I'm sixth still. 24 minutes left, y'all. And I'm sixth place. I'm low key panicking. I'm, I'm wondering how are these dudes ahead of me? Look at 626, 619. Remember that. That WST and, and, and Hey Guy had 626 and 619. Just remember that. Because guess what? I don't know what happened to end this event. But uh, I guess I guess the boosting wasn't working anymore. Because just remember those scores. Because they were stopping and starting and stopping and starting. So just remember those scores, okay? 10 to 8. We're locking in. We're trying to beat the boosters. We're trying to beat some of the other few teams that are up here that are also playing legit just like us. Ooh, we're locked in. It's 20 to 17. We try to throw a lob to end this game. We don't get it. It's okay. Vibing gets the rebound. Back out to me. Back out to cash out in the corner. He hits it. And we get out of that game. And look at now I'm fourth place. 633,000, right? We're good. We're good. I'm like, oh my God. Oh my God. I'm finally back in fourth. First time being top five since what? When there was an hour left and there's only like what? 15 minutes left. Cash gets a clutch steal right here to start this game. Easy three. Like I said, those are game changers right there. Gives the ball to me again. Fade away three. Come on, man. I'm tapped in. I'm ready to win this event. I'm not wasting no time. Back to me again. Fade away green. I'm not missing, y'all. I'm not going to miss. 19 to 13. I'm throwing a lot of the cash out to end that game. We're locked. We're locked. Third place with 10 minutes left. I'm like, what happened? How am I third? What is what is going on? What is going on? I'm third. We chilling. We got this. We got this, right? Second to last game. You already know I'm shooting open threes. I'm making them. Another open three. That's green. Y'all already know what, the, what color it is. Y'all know I'm chicken out here. The builds in the beginning of the video, the jump shots in the beginning of the video, third place, 665,000. I'm like, yo, last game, last game right here. We got this. There's just a couple minutes left. They're going to count the last game regardless. Catch and shoot, three, bang. We ready. We ready to secure. There's no way we lose this event, right? There's no way. There's actually no way. We get the ball back, take over, game over. Y'all already know the drill, 12 to three. We're going crazy. Gives it back to me. I'm going for another three right here. LeBron, step back. LeBron, step back. We got these bad dribbles on for a 6-1 because we got only a 75 ball handle, but we working with it. 19-8. This guy misses a full bar. Vibin throws it out of the cash out, gets the wide of a dunk, and boom. That's the event. Now I'm just crossing my fingers, hoping I finished in top five. That's what I'm hoping for because if we didn't finish top five, then we lost the event and we just wasted four hours of our life. Event has ended. We go out of the event center. I'm like, yo, did we win? Did we win? Third place, baby. Look at this. 665,000. The guy behind us had 661,000. We got third. We went ahead and locked it, but look at the guys behind. Look at seventh, eighth. Those guys that were quote unquote you know, boosting and starting, boosting and starting. They never moved after, like, the, when there was 20 minutes left. I don't know what happened. I don't know what y'all were doing. But, hey, look at We won the event. Congratulations, you won. Look at We got our boot camp jersey, which is the first time they've ever given that out. Usually, it's just the jacket. We got the jacket, the jersey, the arm sleeves, the mask, the unlimited boost, the the everything, bro. Third place, man. Y'all are going to see the rewards here. The first time ever boot camp is given out a jersey. You only get it if you got top five. So, we're going to go ahead and rock the jersey. I'm liking my fit. You guys see, they got the jacket. Jacket too. They got the arm sleeves. They got the unlimited boost. And now we have won Ruffles Boot Camp. And we've won the both 5v5 and 3v3 2K League events. So now we have unlimited jump shot boost from Ruffles, unlimited layup and dunks boost from the 2K League stuff, and unlimited passing ball handling boost from Boot Camp. We're like collecting the infinity stones out here, man. It's looking crazy, but hey. Let me know if y'all enjoyed this video. Drop a like for more event videos. Subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. One million subscribers on the way. Wow, this was low-key and intense events. I mean, we were going in and out of top five. We were competing with cheaters. We were playing with other great teams that were competing legit just like us. Oh, I mean, it was close. It, it was definitely a nail butter at the end there, but we got third place. We ended up winning the event. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed the video. It's been your boy, Henry, a.k.a. Double H, and I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.